morning. Um, my name is Jenny Wedge. I'm with Travel Costa Mesa, and I'm the one who um, invited you all out today to join our um, organization to celebrate uh, this special occasion for us, the dedication of our newest mural here at Triangle Square. So I would like to move on into our program and welcome Anais Tanji to the stage so she can welcome you here to the Triangle, and we'll get our program going. And thank you again for being here. Thank you everyone for being here. Like Jenny said, we're just so thrilled. We have our first tangible improvement for this property up on that wall. And to get a picture with you all at the end of this event is gonna be so much fun. Um, you're all in city planning or you know, work with different businesses and so you know with every deliverable, there are hundreds of emails and hundreds of people that make things possible and so we just thank each and every one of you for being here, for being part of this revitalization. Travel Costa Mesa for choosing this property to feature this beautiful art piece. Tyler Mateen for being willing to, to see the vision and to allow this beautiful art being placed and our amazing city, mayor, council people that support us in every possible way to make this an economic development that we can all be proud of. So thank you again. We really appreciate your support. I'm gonna introduce Tyler Mateen. He's gonna say a few words about the revitalization of the property, and then we're going to uh, hand it over to Travel Costa Mesa, who will talk about the mural, um, and then the artist Aaron Glasson, who will talk about the Costa Mesa inspiration for this beautiful art piece. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Um, it's really just great to see how many people in the community support uh, the, the triangle and just this being the downtown, I guess, of Costa Mesa. Every single person I've met with the city and really who lives here overall has just been so amazing and uh, I'm really pr appreciative of, of that. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Travel Costa Mesa, I Heart Costa Mesa, everyone who's involved with taking this first step here and making the triangle the center of the arts too for the city of the arts. Um, this is the first step that we're taking, but I hope it's a step in the right direction and that we can take many more. So I just want to say thank you, and again, thank you. Uh, Mayor Katrina Foley, Arliss Reynolds, Barry Curtis, everyone with the city, and uh, thank you all for being here. Good morning, everybody. My name is Paulette Lombardi Fries, and I'm the president of Travel Costa Mesa. Before we get started, there's so many people that are sitting right here that we would like to personally thank. Um, we've also uh, had the pleasure to work with Anais and Tyler to get this project up and running. And like Anais said, it definitely takes several months to put this um, project to work. So I would first like to um, recognize Mayor Katrina Foley. She's here, she'll say some words later. Um, we'd also like to recognize Andrea Marr, council members. Thank you for being here. Arliss Reynolds, right here up in the front. Um, we also have Lorianne Farrell Harrison, who's here, the city manager. And our ass uh, acting assistant city manager, Justin Martin. Where's Justin? All right. And Eileen Benjamin with the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for being here. And also some um, board members as well with the Chamber of Commerce. So thank you so much for all of you for coming up and taking the time out of your day to um, listen to how Costa Mesa Bloom came to be. So um, hopefully many of you know, uh, we Travel Costa Mesa is the destination marketing organization for the city of Costa Mesa. So what does that mean? So we get the best job of all. 
we get to inspire travelers to come to the city and take advantage and to experience this vibrant community that we have with arts and culture, fabulous dining, and of course, incredible shopping in the city. So that's what we want to do. And travel Costa Mesa and working with the Triangle Square, we could not think of a better place to create this mural. Um, there's so many different pieces throughout the city that we are so honored and privileged to talk about. We just wanted to add a little something to beautify, to continue to beautify this vibrant city, um, the city of the arts, Costa Mesa. So if you haven't seen the mural yet, it has been up for a few weeks, actually since the end of August. Um, we have the artist here that's going to talk to you for a few minutes, but right now we are going to ask our mayor, Mayor Katrina Foley, to come up and to say a few words. Okay, this is so great, and it's more than about just a mural. It's about, and I love it that it's called Costa Mesa Bloom. In 2017, at the State of the City, I talked about how the city's in full bloom. And I believe that we are really, we're still, the petals are still opening. <laughs> we're not quite open yet. But this, this space here, the triangle, is, um, is a space that has had lots of revisioning, lots of repurposing, and I really feel that the vision that is right now that we're working on is one that can be long lasting. It's a vision that takes into consideration bringing in community, bringing in visitors, travelers, but also locals. It's a vision that supports local businesses and local artists and, and really creates a town square because that's what this was supposed to be when it was originally envisioned way before I was on the city council. Um, supposed to be like the town square. That's why they called it Triangle Square. So I'm looking forward to working and continuing to partner with Tyler and Anais and all the community partners to make this space a reality. I know the work that Anais did at SoCo and how great that space was revitalized from being kind of a tired warehouse kind of district to now a very vibrant community space for local businesses and lots of people to hang out and gather. And I look forward to a year from now going up onto this floor up here and seeing all kinds of people hanging out and gathering and you know sitting around chatting having some tapas at Cafe Sevilla, <laughs> dancing, learning some tango. I'll be there tangoing. Um, and I, I just really believe in the vision. And so I'm really honored to be able to have worked so closely over the last year. Many of you may not know, but I want to also thank Dan Inlows. Um, you know, we went to We've gone to Vegas a couple of times trying to help to gather tenants to come to this space. We've done a lot of um, visioning with our city staff and we've, we're, a, we're really wanting to be a good community partner so that we can activate this space. So thank you to the chamber, thank you to Travel Costa Mesa. Just a few words about Travel Costa Mesa. I actually sit on the board as the mayor and we're excited October 18th and 19th the taste is coming to Costa Mesa. This is a Los Angeles Times event. We're lucky to have it. And we'll have our newest restaurant, uh, Cafe Sevilla is gonna be there at the taste. So that's exciting. Thank you for immediately getting engaged in our community, even before you've opened. <laughs> that's what we like. And so we're excited about that. If you haven't bought your tickets yet, how many of you have been to the Travel Costa Mesa Facebook page? Raise your hand. Okay, how about the website? Okay, go on again, like it, share it with all your friends because we really are targeting local uh, travelers. Travelers who are coming from Los Angeles, San Diego, Ventura, to come into Costa Mesa for the weekend and just hang out, enjoy all of the city, enjoy our, our great South Coast metro area, enjoy our west side, you know, then maybe go to the beach and then come back and come to dinner here. You know, so. We hope that you will share those 
moment. I also want to take a moment to introduce Liz McNabb from Assemblywoman Claudia Petrie Norris's office, another great community partner, and Alex uh, from uh, Harley Ruda's office. It's great. Alex actually is, uh, he grew up in Costa Mesa, went to Newport Harbor, so it's great to have him um, on our new congressman's team. So, okay, I am going to give a couple little uh, certificates of appreciation. And this one is to Triangle Square. On behalf of the residents, businesses, and visitors to the city of Costa Mesa, thank you for hosting and partnering with Travel Costa Mesa on the generous gift of the Costa Mesa Bloom Mural to the City of the Arts. Artist Aaron Glasson colorfully depicts the native flora and fauna found throughout Costa Mesa and the Southern California region and it's spectacular. So thank you so much. Hopefully you can frame this and put it in your office. But why don't you come on up, why don't Travel Coast Mesa come on up as well. Ana East, you can come up. Uh, council members Reynolds and uh, Mar, come on up. And the artist, where is the artist? Aaron, there we go, Aaron, okay. And then uh, I think the, sec uh, the one for Travel Costa Mesa is essentially the same thing, okay? <laughs> Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Alex Gonzalez, and I'm a field representative for Congressman Harley Ruta's office. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank Anais and Tyler for their uh, extraordinary contributions to this project and highlighting a uh, wonderful art piece for the city to enjoy and its visitors. Um, if I could call up uh, Travel Costa Mesa, um, and as well as Tyler and uh, Aaron, the artist, so that I can present a certificate of special recognition uh, for this dedication ceremony um, that highlights this great art piece for uh, visitors and residents to enjoy. It's an honor to be joining you this morning and I would also like to say that um, I think this is a testament to the leadership of the city of Costa Mesa because not Maybe everybody knows, but the council meeting went till about 1.30 in the morning last night. Then many of us were up for the 7 o'clock Newport Foundation, Newport Mesa Unified School District Foundation event, and then Coffee with the Cops. So it's been a really exciting last 16 hours. So, um, But it is really, these are the fun events that we get to go to and honor the great work that's going on in our community. We love the opportunity to partner with Travel Costa Mesa and the Costa Mesa Chamber and the Triangle. Um, it's really impressive to see the dedication that you bring to revitalizing this uh, area of the city. So on behalf of Assemblywoman Cati Petri Norris, I would just like to say thank you for all the work you're doing. Um, it's really an honor to get to serve in the city of Costa Mesa where people are so dedicated to keeping the community thriving and enjoying the wonderful art piece. It is so beautiful and you know we really want to celebrate. As I am also um, the vice chair of the Parks, Arts and Community Services Commission for the city. So it's really a pleasure to get to recognize the hard work that goes into arts in our city. So thank you all so much. Thank you. Okay, so you know a piece of art is truly special when your teenage daughter says, where is that? I gotta go and get a picture of that. And that's exactly what my daughter did. So as soon as this was finished, my daughter and I drove to Costa Mesa so she could sit in front of it and of course post it on Instagram because that's what they do. And of course, I was reading all of her comments about, oh my gosh, that's so awesome, that's so awesome, I love it, I'm gonna go there, and that's exactly what we want. So, um, just wanted to share that with all of you, but um, Aaron, who is the artist of uh, the mural that um, he created for us, is quite a special individual. His cover letter, there are several things on his cover letter that um, kind of got my attention. Um, one is that he has worked closely with Falcom, which you all know is in the city of Costa Mesa. Um, he also, um, Costa Mesa was the first place he exhibited his art in the United States. So I thought that was super special as well. 
<clears throat> and then also to his understanding of the diversity within the city. So we just thought, you know what, his art speaks for you know, himself and all of the experience that he certainly has, but um, the cover letter was something else. We're gonna invite Aaron up right now so that he can tell you just a little bit more about his inspiration and his background. And then we will show a short one minute video after he um, comes up and shares just a few words with us. Aaron Glesson, please come on up. Good morning, everybody. Um, hi. Um, if you're wondering where my uh, maybe English, probably Australian accent is from, um, I'm from New Zealand. Um, <laughs> I, um, I'm I moved to the U.S. about um, five years ago now and um, call Southern California home, so thank you for having me here. Um, it was really an honor to, to paint here. Um, I felt very welcomed by the, um, by the community and um, so much um, support um, from everyone here. Um, I, my background a little bit, um, I'm an artist and designer and I paint a lot of murals. Um, I probably painted around gosh, 60 murals, I guess, um, all around the world. Um, this year alone, I've painted probably 10 murals um, in the, the US, and also the biggest one was in India. I painted a mural um, for the New Zealand Embassy in Delhi this year, which was cool. Um, so a little bit of background about the mural, if you're interested. Um, the the mural itself um, has two kind of d dimensions to it. Um, the background of the image, you can see a lot of seemingly abstract shapes. So those shapes were actually inspired by prominent architecture um, in, in the city. Um, and then the, the flora in the, f uh, in the foreground, um, that's kind of a mixture of local native plants. Um, combined with plants from other places. So, like, metaphorically speaking, um, what that represents is the population. So the local native plants represent people who were born here and, like, local people. Um, and then the plants from other places represent, like, immigrants and visitors um, to the city. So I think that a, a healthy and interesting garden is one of diversity when you have a diverse range of plants from different places. Um, and the same could be said for a healthy community. So that's what that's about. <laughs> yeah, so I'd just like to thank you again very much for having me here. It's such an honor um, to be here. And thank you for coming this morning. 